on the way back, I'm switching over to the other side. Okay. <laughs> you sit uh, two inches, an inch and a half further forward, and it'll be right Oh, there. okay. <laughs> can you slide a little forward now? No, don't worry about it. It's fine. I'm just. Saying, I can. Yeah, he can. Don't. Yeah. Don't. Uh, don't crunch yourself up there. You're actually flying the plane. I'm just the comfort creature back here. Yeah. Do not accommodate. That's all right, but we don't want you to get hurt either. Um, Got your headset plugged in? Yep. Theoretically, if it works. I think it works. It, it worked got, last time. I've got another side that we can try. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go up to the cabin, right? Yeah, let's let's see if we can get into the cabin. All right. Sea Lord is one three four point six five. Okay. If we can get in, what do you think? That'd be kind of a nice flight, wouldn't it? All right, Sea Lord. You see something different. You can see the targets that the Navy uses to bomb. If. We can get in. Does it have a uh, so, designation, or what? What should I search? The cabin? Yeah. No, no. No, it's just a. Uh, it's just uh, a waypoint we, we put into our uh, GPS. Okay. There we go. Mixture full rich. Propeller full forward. Okay. Our mixture full nine. rich. Propeller full forward. Got it. Yeah. Battery on. Alternator on. Battery on, alternator on. Fuel pump on. Avionics off, circuit breakers in. Fuel shut off valve on, brakes on. Strobes on, master on, prop control forward. Ready? Clear prop. Clear prop. Lights on, strobe on, and landing light on. Mike, can you hear us? I have you loud and clear. Okay. Can you hear us, Mike? I have you loud and clear. Loud and clear. Hey, so okay, so. Okay. Gotta get my belt on. Me too. Taking off one five, gonna be a right cross of departure to the west. Bob Gun. Wow, she idles down at six hundred.
Pasca RV 125Q Bravo taking 15 South Departure. Orlando Apopka, automated advisory, wind 2, 0, 0, at 6 knots, with gusts 2, 1, 3, temperature 2, 5 Celsius, 2.21 2, Celsius, altimeter 3, 0, 1, 0, density altitude 1,200. Apopka, up in traffic, warrior 039er is right crosswind, runway 15, departing to the west. Final call, Apopka. Traffic, Lake 2536, Pop Alpha 4, or Alpha 2 for departure and runway 15. Mike, we were taxing up. There was a pop cop sitting along the side of the runway up here, like he's watching traffic. Uh -huh. And I waved to him, and I said to Al, I said, that's the first time I ever waved to a cop riding along the highway. <laughs> <laughs> Side is secure. Okay. Uh, Mike? Yep. See, when Common made these units, they made one with ADSB, one with SXM, and one with both of them. So I got the one with both of them. He went deluxe. Yeah. But that's how they find the... Yeah, the SXM is really nice for pulling in additional weather information. Skyhawk, 16 Golf. Right crosswind for one side. Hawk traffic. I see the guy turning base. How does it feel, Bob? It felt like the, the, the rudder was all the way down for a second. Make and then sure. it kind of popped up. Make sure it feels okay. Yeah. Bobka traffic, C-Ray 177, Charlie X-Ray on the downwind for landing runway 15. Pop. Mike. Yep. Sometimes when I call Sea Lord, they're hard to understand. Maybe you can pick it out. You understand? Okay. I mean, just... Hear me make the call, and then we we'll may, see what they say, yeah, you know. We, like, we may or may not get in. We have no idea. It didn't, like, when I first bought that cabin in the first uh, 20 years I had it, it was not in the restricted area. Golf is right down one one five the Popka. It was on the MOA. Well, they increased the restricted area and included my cabin. Well, they kind of made a bad deal for me. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Bob. I better not order an omelet. Midfield. Oh, don't order an omelet. Right. One five. A pop capacity. Two, two over light, or get a sandwich. He probably has a good hamburger. It's gonna be hamburger time. Yeah, but they won't be like Bob's bodacious hamburger. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bob's bodacious bubble burgers. One of a kind. And Bob's beans. Uber Bob. Uber Bob.
Uber Bob scene. There's Bob and there's Uber Bob. Right, I saw body out areas on final. Okay. Okay. Let's get the checklist out. The Bob. You do do your regular checkout, and then I'll go over everything. The pocket traffic. Engine Alpha runoff, one right? Six golf, turning right base, one five. A pop of traffic. Okay, controls, instruments, fuel. Pop of traffic. Fuel, flaps. Pop of trim. Behind you. It's facing up. Facing up. Okay. Trim. Run up. Do the run up. Controls, instrument fuel flap trim, run up, both mags checked. Seat belt prop, secure. Props, uh, prop is exercise. Seat belt secure. All right, so. A whoops, it wasn't secure. <laughs> Brakes is set. Turning final for a one five. Off the traffic. Brakes set. All right, mixtures, rich prop control, forward throttle. We did mags checked okay. Vacuum was good. Oil pressure is good. Oil temperature is good. Coming up. Coming up. Exactly two gallons. Okay, and uh, as soon as we get airborne, we'll transfer our fuel. Yeah, we're on idle, so we've got. I got. Right, we got air. Yeah, we're about just above zero. Apopka traffic, C Ray 177, Charlie X Ray on What's the Williston? crosswind for runway 15. What is Williston? What's their, uh, their letter? X-69. I think that'd be a nice... Something different. Something different for Mike. Oh, it's X-60, I'm sorry. X-6... X-ray 6-0 is Williston. Okay. X-ray 6-0. Where is Wilson? Orlando Northwest of Ocala. Advisory. Wind two zero zero at six knots with gust two one zero. How's our traffic? Two five Celsius two point two one Celsius altimeter three right. zero one zero. Adam is clear. We just landed. One thousand two. Okay, we're clear. Got a. Where's my fuel stick? Um. I got it. Okay. Fuel He's stick. Fuel stick. Mike Scott. I'm getting 140 miles of traffic. Mm. It likes okay. your plane. All right, so we got one guy on downwind. Okay, then we can go. Orlando Popka, C Ray 177, Charlie X Ray on the downwind for landing runway 15. Pop the traffic, Lake 2536 pop, imminent departure, runway 15, with a right turn out to the north, Apopka. Apopka traffic, Skyhawk 16 stop, clear the active. Thank you, lady. He's very good. He is very good with her calls.
sensitivity is a little high on someone. Have you guys done the uh, drive through the Apopka Wildlife Reservation here? I've ridden my bicycle up and through here. That's all I've done. I never did the whole thing. I just did went up. I went up to about in here and then rode back. Have you done it? It is a very relaxing yeah. weekend afternoon activity. So what do you do? Do you ride a bike or what? Uh, we did the drive bit. Oh, you, you could drive it? I didn't know. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that sometime. That'd be interesting. I think my grand's children up here. Oh yeah, you get the, the big nice alligators out. Yeah, you saw some gators, huh? Oh yeah. And if you're a birder, it's also a wonderful event too. Yeah. Right now we've got Tispy uplink. Nice. Um, you got traffic out to the west, Bob, but it's like three or four miles. This is direct to the cabin, but we probably... Is that you, Matilla? Yep. Oh, well, we got a ways to go yet. About uh, 12 miles to the west, it's off landing. About to have a left downwind for uh, 2 2. Orlando Popka, C Ray 177 Charlie X Ray is clear of the active. Yeah, we're going to fly right over you, Matilla. Uh, yeah, right over you, Matilla. 3690 Romeo is about to. Bob, we Romeo. took off at 1151. 1151. You got Sea Lord uh, frequency? It's on number two. Oh, okay. 13465. Yeah. Uh, so what we'll do is if we can get him, uh, I will skirt the, the, the uh, restricted area to the left. We can't get him right away. We can keep trying. If we can't get in, we'll just make a diversion to X ray. Uh, X-ray, six zero. That's yep. what we do anyway. That's our kind of our SOP. So, what's the end of operating procedure? SOP. Yep. <laughs> well, if the wind is southwest, we could shoot the approach to runway two three. Yeah. Two three uh, in uh, in uh, Williston. Williston, yeah. Yeah, Bob, we got a ways to go yet, so no rush. I think about 2,000 feet. Probably a good idea, Bob. Captain Bob. Anyway, here we are. At the very seaplane base is on Mount Lake Dora. Uh, that's Lake Dora right there. That one right there is Lake Dora. And you fly up to the other end of it, and you're right on the edge of the control zone for uh, Leesburg. Out to the northeast. That's the very. That's where the seaplane base is there. We got good visibility. Water Haven 4632. You go into uh, the Leesburg seaplane every once in a while? Bob, when do you want me to start transferring fuel? Now. Okay, it's about uh, 5 minutes of 12. So about uh, 12. Uh, 12 20. You should see that fuel going up. The fuel gauge. Yep. And we know that both pumps are pumping. 
better see it going up. You're right, we better see it. Ah, uh, they got one guy two miles to the west. But he's 3,000 feet higher. Miles to the west. So now we got ADSB. We got the uh, ADSB in. We got the piss B uplink. Got air to air and we got ground. The winter heavy traffic, uh, 553 delivery is about three foot of the south. Got the float plane there in sight. We're just west of you. Yeah. Get out of your way here. Did we check the uh, METAR at Ocala? Yeah, earlier. We cleared up. Ocala is now VFR. Yeah, I can take a quick look. Um, yeah, Ocala is VFR. Yeah. As of seven minutes ago, it's... Uh, Scattered 3700, broken 45. Okay. Sounds good. And a black muni and sky's clear. Black of clear. The air camp is just coming up on the numbers, uh, the upwind numbers on that one. some traffic in the pattern at Umatilla. Oh, okay. It's below us. Wow. Yeah, we gotta go there, I'll buy some fuel sometime. Yeah. I've been there a couple of times. But they go to a restaurant there, you got to get a Uber. Yeah, right. Sea Lord on a, on numbers on the standby. Yeah, yeah. Probably a better transmitter. Yeah. That's it. At the one o'clock. Yeah. They say it's kind of a busy airport. Flight training, I don't know. Comments, it's a uh, flight, flight training. Kind of busy. But that could vary from time to time. You know, it could have been a couple of years ago he wrote that. So now we're getting close to the restricted area here. Yeah. Okay. So we got to. I can. I can parallel the uh, parallel the restricted area while you call. I'll hit you until and then I make a left northwest turn. Sea Lord, Lake two five three six, pop over.
That's going through Lord say again. It is Lake, Lake Aircraft 2536 Papa. We'd like to know if uh, restricted area 2907 B and C is cold or hot. It is hot to uh, flight level 230. Okay, that's a, I read that as hot to flight level 230. Thank you, sir. Did you hear that? Yeah. Garbage going on with Russia and China. These guys are training, so we got to stay out of there. Or get in trouble. <laughs> That's too bad. I wanted to fly to the cabin. So we're headed X six zero. X six zero. Okay, punch her in. A six? This is not a six. There we go. Yeah, X six zero six zero. Uh, desired track is three zero seven. You're doing three zero seven. Is it going to take us over Ocala? Directly. Directly over Ocala? Yeah. Yep. I mean, directly over Del Pair, if that's where you want to go. We could go. <laughs> A thousand feet off the airport dead center. Okay. What's the, the ceiling on their uh, traffic area? Uh, 4,500. Last I checked. Okay, Class Delta is 1,500, Bob. 1,500 Class Delta? Yeah. At Ocala? Yeah. Well, they we're all right at 2,000. We can call them. Yeah, we'll let them know that we're going to cross. Yeah. yeah. The traffic pattern is 1,500. Give him a call, you know, when we're just a mile from his area. Yeah. You got the landing light on, right? Yep. Okay. I've noticed when we're in the pattern there at, um, we're ready to take off at Opopka, the guys with their landing lights really stand out. Yes. Yeah, the one thing with Ocala is that DME arc is at 2,000 feet. Oh. DME arc. I'll be on our side as we're crossing. Yep. Although the start of it is south of our, where our projected path is, so... VFR about 4,000 feet, and he, he said, you don't have to talk to me, talk to Jacksonville Approach. <laughs> so I, you know, but most of the time they appreciate it. Yeah, it depends on how close to their airspace you are. Yeah. I was noticing last night, Umatilla's got uh, two RNAV approaches. Go in there sometime, get fuel, uh, do a uh, RNAV. GPS approach. We could climb a little bit, I guess. I 
so at Umatilla, I'm, I'm sorry, at uh, Williston, the 4,200 scattered, 4,800 broken was the last report, 12 minutes old. So, uh, now we're good there. Yeah. Um, Alright, so the best wind runway is runway 230. Okay, what is their wind? And we can do the R now GPS to 23. Okay. And what's their wind? 280 at 9. Okay. Be a 50 and I've got, I've got the weather right here on number 2. For Williston. Okay. degree crosswind. Oh, Bob. Yes. I'm letting her climb a little bit. Oh, it's slowing us down a little bit, too. The approach, the RNAV approach to 2 3. Yeah. Um, they want you at uh, Utozi at 3,000. Oh, okay. But, you know, we could do 2,500 because yeah. it's not IFR. Yeah. I'll go to 2,500. Yeah. Right now. And then I'm going to switch you over to Utozi soon. Okay. Going into Williston. Going yep. to Williston. Our nav 23. Yeah. That way we won't have to bother with Ocala. Or it'll divert us right now. and Yapui. And we'll activate it. Right. Okay, so... Three at... Uh, 325. 325, okay. do we need to go to Yakru if we want to avoid the PT? If we want to avoid the procedure turn, don't we need to start at Yakru rather than Yatozi? What he's saying. If we go, we can do you. I don't know if he's got that on this. Well, we don't. We want to. We want to. We don't want to do any procedure turn. No, but um, that's all it gave us was Josie. Yeah, but I don't know. Let me see. There you go. Yeah, your desired track is 325, Bob. Okay. I know what I know what he's talking about. And Grizzly Two Three, are you trying to talk to Sea World right now? All right, we got your crew. I see what he's saying. Yeah, because if you intercept at the uh, IF there, you would need to do the procedure turn. We we'll go to you, crew, you, two, three, your crew first, three twenty six to you, Tozy, and then we'll go in. Okay. And it's a little different. We normally come from a different angle. If you were coming from a little from north of it, right, you would be able to get the uh, direct from Utozi, right? Yeah. Right. 
So, we can do your crew. And then we'll be turning to 319. Show me the show me the schematic. Alright, we gotta get there first. Let me see the schematic. What about it? I wanna see it. <laughs> it's a RNAV T approach. Oh, but on here you're not gonna see it. Gosh, I gotta make a heck of a right turn here. Three, two, seven. What's the heading? Three, two, seven is the desired track. Okay. Take a look. Yeah. Yep. You see it now? Yep. I see it now. There's Utozi uh, poise. Yeah. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Yeah, because technically, but we're going to be at 2,500, not 3,000. And we're not actually calling in for a practice approach. No. Nope. So. We're just using this to help us find the airport <laughs> because it is a difficult airport to spot. I, I can't say I haven't been to an airport that wasn't difficult to spot. It looks, right. it looks like I can actually see one over there, and I have no idea what it is, but I'm proud of myself. Woo! <laughs> A little bump there. Okay, Bob, are you with me on all this? No. Ah, oh, that's Woods and Lakes Air Park then. I mean, even when I went to uh, Denver International, I had a hard time finding it. Yeah, the yeah, airports are hard to spot. No doubt about it. I found the garage, I found the FBO, I found everything but the runways when I went to Denver International. Wow. Right. Here's our pad. Okay. There's your crew. There's your Tozy. Okay. This is the procedure turn he's talking about. Yeah, where's the airport? There's no procedure turn from your crew. The airport's over here. Okay. So we're going to turn left from 319 to 229. Hard right, turn. Yeah, but at this speed, it's nothing. We just follow the turn anticipation. Yep. Yeah, it's okay. not an overfly, it's a turn anticipation. Yeah, so we'll go right. Yeah. So we're just going to bypass turn. it. Put a 90 degree turn. Yeah. We won't be flying directly over you, Tozy. We'll be bypassing it. This will give us a turn yeah. to put us on final. Yeah. And then... And final at 2-3. Right. Okay. All right. I'll give you the altitudes later. Yeah. Remember, the gear is down the initial approach fix. We put the gear down at the initial approach fix. So that'll be your toes. Well, okay. Yeah, we can do that. Your toesy. You can put the gear down. Yep. This way, it will be, we'll be more stable for the final approach fix. Right. That's right. Yeah, we're not getting a practice approach. For I know what he's talking about, but... To see you to, uh, see Lord, if you can hear the transmission and now we're tied in. No, I mean, we're just flying VFR, Mike. Yeah. Um, I do this with Leesburg all the time because... You can find it. It's a pain in the neck to get approach control. <laughs> Sometimes they say, we're busy, you know. Yeah, that's in good. IFR, of course we would be, but, you know. But Leesburg, just get tower and then say, do some practice approaches. Tower will help you out with that a lot easier than... Yeah, but approach control. Yeah. And then it, 
it's you're right near the border of Jacksonville and Orlando or something. It's pain yeah. Yes. You're, yeah, you're right on the border. If you go out west, if you go to Jax, if you go anywhere else, it's Orlando. Yeah. I think we're talking to targets. I'm about to go out for Orlando doesn't like people. Jacksonville is like, we're yeah. going to wait till you uh, transfer over to Orlando before you get anything, and then... Yeah, I know, it's just not a... Yeah, I trained my private and instrument at Leesburg. Sorry, no, I'm not familiar. Ram 21, I need you to check in with me on 289.2. Executive can be a pain in the neck. Orlando Executive. Their uh, controllers are a little bit tight. It can be a pain. Ram we were having, we were shooting an approach FBI together, FBI. and some guy calls in and says, "I got to land right away." So, we, all right, Lake, please break off your approach. Ram Bob said, "Guy probably had to go to bed." <laughs> You are clear to the black area via the south outstretch. Either that, or he said, "We can't do that. We got a jet on ten mile final." Do I have a volume control back here for myself? I don't, I don't know. Oh, okay. Can you get a volume on your uh, headset? It's all lowered down already. <laughs> is it too loud for you? Yeah, it just is. a bit. Don't worry about it, though. Have it your volume. That's good, right there. That's that all right? Yeah. You have your volume right here. Not, not ATC, it's self-communications within the plane. Oh. You can bring ATC back up, because that was a good volume. Yeah, that's good. So we got to start listening to uh, Unicom. Yeah, you've got that over there, right? Volume control? That's a new one that they put, that yeah. Jim put in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't see any traffic out to two miles. Doesn't mean they're not there. Of course. All right, Bob, we want to move. It's okay. You're more or less on course. You're just not on the heading. You know. 327 is what I need. 327. Well, the gas gauge is coming up. The gas gauge is coming up, Bob. We will check fuel and uh, before we leave, we're going to check our fuel with a stick. See what uh, we had 20 in there and we transferred 14. It's right. 34. It's 516 a gallon. At, at uh, Williston, 516 a gallon. Uh huh. It's uh, 599 at uh, X304. All right, now the time is 1221. Isn't that about the time you wanted to shut this? Uh, yeah, we turned it on to five. Uh, no, go another five minutes. Another five minutes. That'll be 30 minutes. We'll okay. give it 30 minutes. The Matar is 26 minutes old. Got this guy too. Okay, one two two nine seven five, Bob. That is. Uh, 
Williston Unicom. One, two, two, nine, seven, five. Is it Williston Unicom? That's right. Now it's the active. Okay. Find out what they're doing.
Uh, you fly a light sport too, Mike. I bet that's bumpy. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't bad. I'll be darned. You'd think a light airplane like that would be bumpy. It was just a light sport category, but it wasn't actually bumpy. It wasn't that light either. Yeah. It's like the Super Cub, but it's called it a light sport. Was it got 180 horsepower? <laughs> Yeah, this had a Rotax 915, and it was 95 horsepower, but it was still like 2,100 pounds or something, fully loaded. How much? I'm going to go look at the... Uh, <coughs> what did it hold? I'm going to go look at the manual. Okay. Uh, that Aranka we were looking at, that was an Aranka. Bought by uh, Aranka. They bought Aranka. Oh, that's a, that was an Aranka. And it's like a 60 horsepower engine in it. Continental. You got a good buy on that airplane. Overhauled engine, new prop. What did you say you paid for it? 30 grand? Yeah, 30. Jeez, he got a hell of a deal. That was a $30,000 overhauling prop. We got the plane for about 10 grand. And it's got new new covering on it, he said. Relatively. It was a nice plane. I like that. Very pretty. You're going to be a crop duster. I'll be Dan. That's a good way to get time, Mike. Be a crop duster. Yeah. I, I was way over quoting. It's uh, 1320. 8 gallons an hour, and it has a 30 gallon tank. Wow. Pretty good. Yeah, it has some crazy endurance. Yeah. But you're only doing 90 knots. That's what we're doing right now, 94 knots, but I throttled back. I throttled it back. I don't see any traffic up ahead, Bob, but... Yeah, you're right, Yeah, well, the reason we do this is to find the airport. <laughs> <laughs> We've had trouble finding this airport down in the woods. See where you're going, Bob? Yeah, yeah. I got left turn. And you toes it. You cozy. Okay. That's why you bring, bring the gear down. Yep. That's why we drop the gear. Right. Because we get distracted with our headings and altitudes. Right. Then you, you know. Then when you're focused on headings and altitudes, you don't remember your gear. Roger that. Roger that. Do you hear that intermittent? Yeah. Yeah. What the hell is the, causing that? The mic sensitivity is up too high, so it's picking up one of our mics. Uh, so one of the dials changes mic sensitivity on the, one of the things up front. I think it's the squelch one. Fair about here? I think that's 
the control over there, Bob. To the intercom. How's that? Doing it, isn't it? How do you, how do you read me? I read you good. Okay. Yeah, but there is that static. I know it. Can you turn down co-pilot? Let's see. Oh, there's what I've been hoping. Oh, yeah. Not that far, though. Up, up, up. Right. Just sure. about 10 degrees more. Is that good enough for you? That's good for me. Well, because it's co-pilot. I'm asking uh, <laughs> co-pilot. Okay, but you guys can hear me. You know. I can hear you. Okay. We're not hearing anything. You got the uh, oh. car on? Yeah, I got it on. May not be anything going on. It's telling you to get ready, Bob. Turn to 321. Well, I'm not making much of a turn. I know that. This is 321. What's the, uh, does it have a countdown? No, it doesn't. Three no minutes and 20 bank. seconds. Three minutes and 18 seconds. 321, that's what you want. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. The count, you mean the distance? Yeah, the three count minutes to our next Three minutes to, our to go, turn. right. I thought you were referring to the when to turn yeah, yeah. 10987. So, uh, I'm going to use Utozi as our final approach, our uh, initial right. approach back here. That's the initial approach back here. We'll be headed east. Here we come down. It's an intermediate fix, because we just crossed the acre. Yeah, yeah, no, it's very intermediate. All right, so 3.7 miles. Two. You're going to get a left so, turn to 229. If I'm going to drop gear at right. Utozi. Yeah. Just so. hold this course for the Utozi. There's your readout. That wasn't a turn at all. That was a light jog in the course. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that's going to be, I'm going to use that as my uh, initial approach effects. For the, it really wasn't. That'll be geared down. Six miles. Two and a half miles of Utozi. And how far from Utozi to the runway? We've got about 11 miles. To the runway? And it's uh, Elevate and uh, MDA. Okay. The LNAV MDA is 480 feet. Okay. 480 feet. That's all we can do. Okay. So are your volume valves over there got, uh, it's a nested dial? Again. Is that volume dial a nested dial? I don't know what he's saying. I, it, is it nested like it, like the, uh, like this dial, nested? Oh, so you're talking about the Unicom? Well, yeah, the Unicom. Is it is it nested? The ones that you got there? Is there like a front and a back dial? Yes, uh, there is. Maybe that's the pick mic pickup volume. So it won't pick up. It won't pick up one that's not too loud, quiet, or loud. Bob, we gotta turn. Yeah. Gotta turn. Okay. Turning. Turn to turn to two, 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 three, one. Right. In. Get down. You're down. Oh, X rod. Two, three, one. And the altitude. We can descend. 1,800. You're down. Green lights on. Yep. I see a gear. Got six miles. We descend to? 1,800 feet. Six miles. To the uh, X-Rock. Right. Got six miles. 1,800 at X-Rock. Right. So, 800 feet. 
plenty of time. Picture full rich. Ah. to dial with mic sensitivity. Williston Unicom, Lake Amphibian, 25365 on the RNAV 23 approach to Williston. We've got about a 10 mile final. How do you hear? You hear me all right? I do. Thank you. I got him on clear. Oh. Horses. I'm looking for 1,800 feet. 1,800, no, no lower. Down. That's right. Bags on both, battery on alternate run, fuel pump is required. Mixture rich. Pop is going to stay where it is. Seatbelt belt fastened, fuel pump on, hydraulic pump on, hydraulic pressure is good. Here we check. Got to get the flaps down, but we have time. That's Water right. rudders are up. Water and rudder. Bottle mixture prop. We got time for the for the flaps. Two point six miles. How about that? Runway in sight. Uh, it's at the uh, left. Ah, uh, you got the runway. Got the runway? Yep. Two miles? Oh, we're about four miles from the runway. Oh, how far from the runway? That's right now, 1.7, about three and a half miles. Actually, a little more than that. on your side track, Bob. Two, three, one. Two, three is the runway. Yep. About a mile to go. The final approach fix. An approach mode. Any traffic in uh, Williston? That's unusual. Once we hit That's final approach fix, we're five miles from the end of the road. That's unusual. Oh, I don't hear any. We always have traffic. There was one call about eight minutes ago. Uh-huh. There's landing. That is the right frequency. Yeah. We're coming up to the final approach fix, Bob. Okay. Okay, that's 1800, and then uh, we can let down to 480. MDA. 
Yes. Okay. All right, there we go. We've crossed the final approach bit. Now, initially, Bob, got to pass the Apui. All right? So, the minimum crossing altitude, 740 feet. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. So, go to 740 until you hit Yapui at 2.7 miles. After Yapui, Okay, then you can go down to 480. Okay. The so 480, what altitude? 740. Okay, we can start letting down. We can do that. It's the test glider at Skyhawk, 6 miles south east, southwest of the airport, about to join Memphis. Got over 2 miles to get down to 740 feet. Clear down. Yep. The rich. And at that point, uh, you're fully, we can let down to our MDA. Yeah, let's, yeah, we let down to MDA or land. Yeah. We'll see. You got one and a half miles yet. Starting runway two. Three. You're fully. Somebody's landing. Two, three, did you hear it? Yeah. Uh, they're about to take the runway. Give them a courtesy call that you are four yeah. miles out. Yeah, call them up. Oh, three miles out. Williston traffic, Lake 2536 pop, we're on a three mile final, runway 23, Williston. I see him on the runway. The airplane? Ready, Bob. Okay. As, as soon as you cross Yapui, hey, runway 23, you okay. go down to 480. Now we can go to 480 after you. Okay, make sure full rich propeller is full forward. All right. When it's set for the Quarter Skyhawk, three miles southwest the uh, airport, we're going to join left on one runway 23 when it's set traffic. Going to join the down right. Hey, Bob. Want to get the uh, ready for the flaps? Flaps down. Wilson traffic 494 off the mic is departing area to the south. Wilson well, runway boat on taxi from uh, Eagle Vista Tang to the FBO to uh, runway 23. Wilson traffic, Lake 2536 pop. Short, short final runway 23, and we're going to the restaurant. Water rudders are. Right? Next available, right? Should be coming up. It? Yeah, going straight. Delta. Okay. I think I see it. It? It's a double line. Curve to the. Oh, yeah, yeah I got it. I got it. Traffic, Lake 2536 pop off. Runway 23 on Delta for the 
uh, we'll listen at B.O. There's a Piper Cub over there. Yeah. I guess I should go on the other side of that jet. that jet? Right here. I think. Where's that Piper Cup? Oh, that's that's further up. Oh, is it? He's the head of the line? I think so. He's not in a parking place there? Odd to say. Yeah, I can't Odd tell. Stuff. I can't tell. I think what it might be there. I could go between that jet and the Piper Cub, or I go on the right side of the jet. The right side of the jet will push it close to the back. Go in between the jet and the uh, Piper, uh, Piper Cub and the jet? Yeah. That should be alright. The Piper Cub, is, where, how is he lined up? Forward, isn't he? Watch that wing tip on that jet. I'm watching. Are we looking? Right now we're looking good. Looking good? Yeah, so far. Keep going. All right? No, keep going. Keep going. Mine is up there. How's that wingtip look? Is that good? That's How's the wingtip? Good, both sides. Right side all right? Right side all right. Really close. Pretty close? Good. Right here, Bob. Okay. Radio's off. Transpinder off. Lights off. Picture lane. Go oh, along right. Engine shut down, twelve fifty. Yeah, twelve fifty? Yep. Well, that was an hour ride. Sure. One hour, wow. That was more than I bargained for.